Hi and welcome to my beautiful office, which has gone a little quiet at the minute because we're at the peak of the fire season. So it's stinking hot, high humidity, birds and animals aren't very active at this time of year. So there's not a lot for me to photograph or film. I think it's time to get out of here and go somewhere where I can have a really good adventure, have a bit of fun with photographing and filming wildlife. Now, where could I go to do that? I've got it. Bit windy, but this will do. Oh, sorry. Welcome to Wilson's Promontory. When I was a young boy, my parents used to bring us down here to Tidal River to camp out. And I used to like coming down here to the river that runs down into the ocean to have adventures. Now, one of my excursions, I came across a tiger snake being harassed by what I thought at the time was a mouse. Just over there on those rocks behind me. And I thought it was strange at the time that a mouse would try to harass a snake. It didn't make any sense to me. Little did I realise that mouse-like creature would later become my passion, the agile antichinus. For those that don't know, it's a small carnivorous marsupial that I've studied, photographed and filmed for 10 years. I've written two books about him. Yeah, I still look back on that and really ponder over the thought that I was staring my destiny in the face and I didn't know it. Good morning, it's day one of my adventure at Wilson's Promontory. It is extremely blustery. Strong, strong winds, we've got to put up with it. Now I was going to go on a two hour hike this morning to another beach, but I ended up bailing out of that because of the weather. It was uh, a little bit of rain when I got out of the car, so I thought with the wind and possible getting soaking wet. I have got my wet weather gear here but I don't want to be walking in the rain. I, I just don't feel like it this morning. So I bailed out and doing a 30 minute walk to a beach. This is the river that runs along it. Uh, details up here of where I am and what the river's called. The sun's starting to come out here and there. You can see up in the sky there it's breaking up a bit. That's where the sun's coming from. I'll investigate this beach, have a bit of fun here, a bit of a muck around. So one of the main reasons why I was going to do that two hour walk this morning 
was I bought a new backpack five months ago and I haven't been able to use it for a uh, three day hike. That's what I bought it for, I wanted something really comfortable. And this is the Osprey 65 litre, right the rest of it up there, I've forgotten what it's called. So I'm just testing it out, seeing what it's like. Photography wise, it's a pain in the ass because yeah, it's just not set up for easy access. It's set up for long hikes, but that's what I bought it for. Nice and light, and uh, supposed to be really comfortable. Feels okay to me at the minute. Behind me, interesting geology. Not supposed to stand here, for obvious reasons. <laughs> Rocks fall. Honeycombed, it looks awesome. You know, if you had a nice coloured sky, might look all right as a photograph. So behind me are lots of gnarly looking branches and uh, remains of trees. But they are interesting. They might look like sticks and twigs and uh, branches to one man, but to another man it could mean art as far as photography goes. I am not a landscape photographer. I play with it. I try to open my eyes so that it helps me with my wildlife photography because that's what I am. I'm a wildlife photographer. It's interesting. It really is interesting. A landscape photographer would stay here for hours, wait for that bit of light to shine out and see whether his composition would come to life. But me, I'm going. I've been walking around for two hours now. Haven't found much, <laughs> but my backpack, the Osprey, it's fairly comfortable, not too bad, no, it's probably about 10 kilos in there. This is rated up for comfort rating, up to 30 kilos, 35 kilos, but just with the small amount that I've got in there, it's quite comfortable. This is designed differently than most bags, they've made it so that the weight isn't so much on your shoulders if you have it set up properly. It's mainly around your waist. These well, waistbands are spring-loaded. There's some sort of material in there that hugs you like a bear. So you have to pull them apart to get it on and let it go. It's a little weird to get used to. I thought it might rub on my hips and bruise me up a bit but it doesn't seem to be doing that. Tent, after a little while, you don't notice it there. Now I'm talking about my bag at the minute because the light is crap. It's horrible for photographing birds in flight. Pretty much anything. It's a little boring here for me now because of that reason. And it actually looks like it's going to rain. I'm gonna start wandering back now. On my way back to the car, I've come across a very interesting little patch here. So there's lots of like native daisy type plants, as you can see here, all flowering. And then you've got all the dead trees here. Interesting textures, shapes. <laughs> it does look awesome. Now in amongst the chaos here somewhere would be an interesting shot. But it'd have to be when the sun's setting. Sun will set directly behind me here, back down towards the beach. So as it gets down a bit, the light would come in here beautiful. If you can find that interesting subject, that, a nice composition. Possibly even like this with a flower on it. I 
Now I have another Wilson's Promontory story for you. And it happened right here at Derby Car Park. Derby Car Park. We pulled up in the family car and my mother straight away pointed to that rock you can see up in the background there. But she was mumbling, she couldn't get the words out. My dad got a little upset with her. What are you trying to tell us? He was saying. But she couldn't get the words out. But eventually she said, a black panther. That's right. She saw a black panther up there on that rock. But by the time she got the words out, it was gone. None of us saw it. So it became a legend, a myth. We give her a bit of grief every now and then, have a bit of fun mucking around with her. We called it Black Panther Rock, of course. Another day, another adventure. I just pulled over on the side of the road. It's a track I looked at online before I come down to Wilson's Prom. Little Drift Track. So we're going to go down here. There it is. And have an adventure. It's overcast and it's pretty shitty which is what it's been the whole time I've been down here. But instead of uh, thinking, photography, just an adventure, just a walk, take us with me. We'll have a look what this can give us, this little trail. Uh, there are no photographs online or anything like that. I've just simply seen it on Google Maps. And I think it's a hell of a lot of sand dunes. So there could be something of interest. It's six o'clock in the morning. That's why you can't see me very well. Or I can't see the screen very well. I look dark on it anyway. Well, this is quite exciting and very windy at the same time. Sand dunes, this is what it looked like on Google Maps and I should hold the camera a little better, shouldn't I? Have a look at that. Ta-da! Pretty awesome. Ha even have a nice sunrise over there. Nice colour in the sky. <laughs> I was hoping I'd be out of the wind, but obviously not. But wow, talk about the badlands. This is almost like being in the desert. Nothing like it, is it? It's nothing like it. But it's an awesome feeling here. And I'm so glad that this Sennheiser Lavalier kit is really good in the wind it has really amazed me it really has oh, i haven't had this sort of wind to really check it out in with the dead cat in you on anyway <laughs> it's doing an amazing job well, we're down near the beach and have a look at the amount of swans that are down here lonely Little tree on the sand dune. Doesn't excite me as much as when I first saw it. But I'm looking, I've got my eyes open. Oh, take a shot, sample shot. See whether I think it's going to work. Oh, so my composition, I was taking a photograph of that little tree on the hill there. It was a bit right hand heavy. 
little tree that's sticking out the side looked really interesting but it points somewhere and that's to the slope going down so I'll, yeah just studying it making sure get back in the light making sure that it would end up being a really nice composition I said to myself that does drag your eye that way it's pointing that way looks good just standing up on the hill by itself and the dramatic clouds behind but unfortunately it's not gonna work as much as I am an adventurer looks very awkward to get down to the ocean and quite frankly I'm not all that fussed anyway I'm looking at the view of the sand pit from another angle <laughs> it's pretty cool have a look It's my last day at Wilson's Promontory and it's by far the shittiest. This is what it sounded like overnight in my cabin. Strong winds. <laughs> Ferocious winds. Yeah, not good. <laughs> It'll be good to go home today, unfortunately. Yeah, the weather's even gotten worse now. When I come out of the cabin this morning, this is what it was like. And put rain into the mix. Yeah, it's not very good. I've come out for a walk at a place that I drive past a hell of a lot when I've been down at Wilson's Prom and always thought I'll go and walk it one day it always looks a little bit more touristy but I'm here we'll give it a go it's just drizzling intermittent rain you can hear it on the window <laughs> yeah we'll give it a go I don't know how I'm going to uh, last or not I've taken the Sennheiser off the microphone. I'll, if I'm going to talk to you guys at all, there'll be wind on the mic. Yeah, because it's raining, I don't want to jeopardise uh, having them destroyed. But, oh man, it is dark out there. It's wind, strong, strong winds. Enough of whinging. Let's get on with the walk. very bored with this walk it's just not my scene man there's a beach just down the road a couple of minutes away so I'll go there now I am very inventive when it comes to photography and bushcraft I put my beanie there was my turn itself off halfway through my conversation I put the beanie my beanie on the Osmo to stop the wind on the microphones have I been successful 
should work a little bit, not really strong winds. Anyway, jump in the car, down the road. Hmm. Nothing that way. Something that way. But look at this. I love the shapes of all these rocks and the colours aren't too bad neither. On a nice day when the sun's just coming up over the hill because it's going to come rise from over there. Or even setting maybe as well. It'll set over that way. The sun's coming up from just over there. There's a nice scene here at the end of this cliff. You've got a cave in there as well. I just think the sun coming up and on a day when you've got nice colors in the sky, it could work out all right. It is time to wrap up my adventure down at Wilson's Promontory. I've had a lot of fun, even though photography wise, it hasn't happened for me bad lighting conditions you know the rest it's always great to get away from our normal lives isn't it get out into the great outdoors somewhere different been awesome gone to places that i normally brush off because i think they'll be a bit wussy for me but i've sort of been forced to it's good new places having a look at that story with the tiger snake and that little mouse that i'm 100 percent sure was an agile antichinus it's a true story it's true and it's amazing where life leads you see something when you're a kid that thing later on becomes a massive part of your life that's all i've got for you today hope you enjoyed my trip to wilson's promontory it's not always like this the weather can be fantastic but when we're out about in the wilderness, shit happens <laughs> every now and then. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing stuff, click on my pretty little face just down there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Click on the little bell, you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And also, if you'd like to like this video, that would be awesome as well. And also over here will be a link to my channel. So click icon, take into my channel, there's 100 videos to choose from there, over 100. I talk about all sorts of things to do with photographing and filming of wildlife. Tons of stuff like this as well. Yeah, so go and have a browse, there'll be something of interest to you there, I'm sure. Now just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.